Today, you're about to see an incredible $40 million abandoned mega mansion that just so happens to be situated right next door to the current number one rapper in the world, Drake, who is currently making headlines for his leaked diss track towards Kendrick Lamar, Future, and others. The mansion we are exploring today spans over 22,000 square feet that will soon be demolished to build an even bigger mega mansion. So stay tuned to hear more. What's up guys, it's Big Banks. We're back again for another episode. Today, as you can see behind me, we have a huge mega mansion here. It's worth over $30 million, 20,000 square feet. Um, this place is crazy, it has a movie theater, has um, a library, anything you can imagine in a mansion. And what's crazy about it is right next door is famous Canadian rapper Drake's house. So it's pretty crazy to say the least. This is Drake's neighbor's abandoned mansion. And we are here today and we're gonna explore it. Now let's take a look around the outside and then we'll get into the story of why this place is abandoned and what's going on with it. Let's get right into the video. So first off, there's a guest house right here with a full-size tennis court. And it is freezing cold out here today, guys. But check it out. This is the mansion that we're walking up on. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna tear this down and they're gonna build a bigger mansion in its place, which is crazy. Probably trying to compete with Drake right there. But check it out. This is just the backside. This is what we see when we walk up on it. So this room actually goes to a pool room, which is the indoor pool. You got this large back porch here, the nice stone, and check it out. Look at this fountain here, completely frozen solid because it is freezing cold here but check out this place it's a neo chateau style it was built in and it's only 19 years old it's not very old at all and this place is absolutely beautiful it's three levels there's a basement this main level and then upstairs just getting a good view of this side before we go inside not going to be able to do a whole lot outside i'm going to try to get as much outside footage that I can for you guys. And then we're gonna get out of here and uh, head on to the next place. But let's check out what we got over here and we'll go inside. So this is like a pool house slash guest house type thing. It's more like a, like a, like a party yeah. to, what would you call it? To entertain Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Not much going on in here. Nice fireplace though. What's weird is they have gas fireplaces in here even though they made their own, manufactured their own uh, wood logs. So, a little strange. <laughs> Not much going on in here though. This is like the pool house, guest house type thing. I guess you could call it a guest house because you could technically make one of these a room. No, never mind. This would be your only room right here, so <laughs> yeah. But outside of this, we got, it looks like a little waterfall pond. Yeah, there's a little pond here. With a hot tub. So cool. And you got the mansion back over there. So guys, we're gonna go inside, but first, let's hear the story behind this place. Let's hear about the owners and Let's hear the history and see why this place is abandoned. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. In today's exploration, we are headed to one of the richest neighborhoods in the whole world. This neighborhood has seen many celebrities, such as Prince, Celine Dion, and Drake, who actually lives right next door. The owners of this mansion were from India. They moved to Canada in the 1970s, and once faced with the harsh cold weather, an idea sparked. They started manufacturing fire logs that would be easy to light. This business venture turned into an incredible success, with the business becoming North America's number one fire log company, and ultimately turning this family into billionaires. This mansion they had built in 2005 
today sits at a worth of close to $40 million, only to be torn down to build a bigger mansion. So join me today and let's see what's left. All right, guys, we made it inside of Drake's neighbor's house. So you guys already heard the full story of this place. This place is absolutely nuts. I've already kind of done a little walkthrough. So I want to show you guys what's in here. It's absolutely insane. Shout out to Ethan Minnie for bringing me here. Uh, his channel will be down in the description, but we have a lot to see here. This place is over 20,000 square feet, has an elevator, um, like nine bedrooms. It has like everything you can imagine in a mansion. It's pretty wild, indoor pool, all that stuff. I cannot wait to show you it all. So I'm not gonna ramble on right here. Let's get into this exploration and let's see what's left. So I'm gonna start you guys off right here at the front door. So you can see this front door is quite large, okay? It's a very nice, has these nice windows in it. And this house is very modern. It was built in 2005. So it's only 19 years old and it's about to be completely demolished. But check out the front door. This is what you see. Nice dark wood here. And it's like an archway. The door is also arched right there too. And these beautiful pillars on each side when you first walk in. And not only that, the matching molding going along the ceiling with these arched doors. And I believe this archway is also this stone too. This is really neat. And we actually have the same thing on both sides. So it's kind of mirrored here. There is no power in this house. Um, it's not going to be very long until this place is gone. They are planning on building a much larger house on this land. And guys, this is around a 30 to $35 million property right here. And my goodness, I mean, your neighbor is Drake. So <laughs> like, yeah. So I'm going to take you guys straight through to the main foyer. So this is what we see when we first walk in. Check it out. It's this dome. And like up there is a library. But there's this big dome in the house. And then we have this immaculate staircase here. Now, me and Ethan were talking about these rocks here. And I don't know if this was for like fire, which I don't think so. I'm not gonna think that they would put fire in this because it would just be a safety hazard if somebody fell in this. Even after the fire went out, the rocks would be hot. Not good. Just a very cool aesthetic. These look like the same rocks you see on the Black Sand Beach in Iceland, like these dark rocks. So cool, I've actually never seen anything like that in an abandoned mansion before. Then of course, you have these two archways on each side with the beautiful pillars. You gotta check them out. Kind of the same pillars as before by the front door. And you have this cathedral type ceilings when you're walking down this hallway. It goes all the way down to the garage and then that way it goes to like a cigar room. You know, you have your formal living room, things like that. But this, guys, is just your main foyer. And I just can't get over this. It feels really weird to even be in a house like this and imagine people living in it because like the people that lived here, I don't think they really had a big family. They just had a lot of money. So just a huge house. And to me, I couldn't live in a place this big. It's just too much space. Like it's, it is for some people, but it's just not for me. It's still beautiful to even be able to see anything like this. Like it's, it's crazy that there are mansions like this all over the world that are just left. So continuing in the foyer, you got more pillars. There's like four, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There's 20 pillars just right here. 22, 24, 26 pillars just in this area alone it's pretty wild and they're all the same this white stone just check out the details in that i think it's the same on all of them but that's just gorgeous so we'll take a look more at that side here in just a minute at that staircase also pointing out this uh this floor in here very beautiful like this place is a very um very modern vibe it has the recessed lighting 
Um, and just that dome right there, guys, like that's insane. You don't see stuff like that. It almost looks like a portal. Like <laughs> That's just crazy. And then you can get a good view of the outside from here. So this is the back porch. There's a fountain back there. Goes to your guest house and a tennis court. So now we're gonna go right in here into the formal living room. So it looks like we have coffered ceilings in here, which is really nice to see. And even the trim. It's like this leaf trim all the way up on the sides. Really beautiful hardwood flooring. I'm not sure the type of wood that this is, but then they have like the dark wood making this cool design that goes all the way around. Gorgeous fireplace. Same stone right here that matches all that stone in there. And this is actually a wood burning fireplace, not a gas or electric, which is really nice to see, especially in a more modern house. And one thing I love about houses like this is the windows and how big the glass is and how much natural light comes in and everything like that. So you have like all this natural light coming in at all times, all through the house. That right there is Drake's house. So it's pretty insane that Drake is probably there right now. Well, we're here filming this. So we're gonna walk back this way. Before I take you on that side of the house, we're gonna check out this side. I'm not sure what this part would have been used for, but it has a beautiful tray ceiling right here with like the little medallion in the middle there. I assume they might've had a chandelier at one point or maybe some kind of cover for that light bulb. And then they definitely had more lighting in the walls. So you can see the holes. Now I'm gonna take you guys to the cigar room. And how do I know this? It's because it says cigar room right there. I typically like to call these the gentleman's room because it's more of like an office. They probably had like a nice desk in here, but this is where they would smoke cigars, kind of do business. Stuff like that. Again, with the coffered ceilings in here, all wooden. Not really my preference on a room if I was to have an office. There's just too much wood, but these rooms are always nice to see. You always know it's like really fancy when you see these kind of rooms. It looks like there's speakers in the ceiling, so they probably had an intercom system going throughout the house. And this is all like cabinet space. That's actually a sink. That's cool. Everything has such good bones in this house. More just cabinet space. Nothing has really been left, but you'll see the little bit that has been left. So this does look like a, a gas fireplace in this room. I absolutely love that design on the floors. I don't know where that comes from though. If you guys know down in the comments what kind of like, like what kind of flooring you would call this, let me know down in the comments. But this, this uh, woodwork is very beautiful. Looks like they use all different kinds of wood to make this design. And to me, this door looks like it's actually quite heavy. It's really thick. Like that is a thick door. I wonder why it's so thick like that. Here's all your buttons. This is probably for the intercom system. Room scene, center light, pot lights, wall sources. What a fancy room. You can imagine there being a desk here, some chairs, some maybe some statues, books filled all in here, some paintings on the walls. Would have been gorgeous. Just exited the cigar room and we see that there is actually a second staircase here. It goes down into the basement, which we're gonna have to go down there here in a little bit. The first is a room right here. And this I believe is just one of the guest rooms of the house. It's very dark in this place because there is no power, but this is one of your guest rooms. And look, they even left a TV right here. And these are very old TVs. These are like 2005 TVs. But from what I have seen on the internet and stuff is that a lot of rich people don't really watch much TV. I saw this thing about Lamborghini, how they don't have commercials because their target audience isn't watching TV. So it's kind of uh, like that, I feel like, in this, this house. This looks like a closet. Right here, we're gonna enter into a bathroom. Look at this. Wow. What kind of stone is that? I've never seen that before. And it has like the rainfall shower coming right out of the middle. I have not seen a house that has that yet. How cool is that? But what kind of stone is this? I've actually never seen stone that looked like that. 
Do you guys know down in the comments, but that, that looks like some kind of crazy granite. And then the rest is marble. Even the floor is like this. See if you guys can see that. It's like this green, white, and orange, like wavy. Here we got a sink. Really nice sink, too. Check out this. It's like crystal, like, knobs. Like, everything I'm seeing in this house is pretty one-of-a-kind that I've seen comparing it to other abandoned mansions that I've been to. Maybe there was a mirror in here as well. If you guys know what kind of stone this is or stone that is, like, I'd really love to know. All right, let's head to the other side of the house now. This staircase is beautiful. I have not seen a staircase that looks like this. It's quite large and it has like this little landing area right here that's like curved and then it goes on up. It's very fancy. And this is the first time I've seen a staircase that looks like this. And then we can just walk on all these rocks here and get a look at it. You guys see that? And then straight above, you have a skylight that comes in. Like this is so bizarre that this is just gonna be torn down. I don't understand, like at all. I really don't understand. All this rock. I wonder where they got all this rock from. Like, is it imported? Is it from a different country? Where did they get it from? Because that's so many and they're so smooth. Like I said, it feels like and looks like the rocks from the Black Sand Beach in Iceland. This is just pure luxurious, guys. And then like right next to it is these cathedral ceilings like I showed you before. I'm gonna go down this hallway. So it looks like they had something hanging here, maybe a painting or maybe something important, and they had a light going to it, so it would be on display for everybody to see. And this, to me, guys, is probably a dining room, I'm gonna say. Now, I could be wrong, but that's just what it gives off. And look, there's more lights on the, on the wall over there, so it looks like they had more stuff that they hung in here, probably paintings or like, photos, stuff like that. And check out this coffered ceiling right here. Wow. There was probably a chandelier in here too. It's also got this lip in it too. So they could put like some recessed lighting in there. They could put some accent lightings through there. It's all like gold trim on it or kind of like brass trim, copper maybe. I can't really tell in this lighting right now. And then the flooring is just so unique. I mean, guys, look at that. I believe this was the dining room. Very gorgeous, very long, probably could fit a giant table that could fit 20 people at it in here. That's why I'm thinking that's what this was. Plus the kitchen is not very far away, so. But we'll find out more. Look at the doors. Tall, like eight foot doors going through the house. And this looks like a little pantry. Check it out, granite countertops with this amazing backsplash here. Everything is so modern. More granite going on this side. And this would have been your actual pantry. Check it out, that's huge. 10 foot tall at least, goes all the way around. So you could fit every kind of snack, spices, chips, whatever you need right in here. You can fit it all. Too much space. Like this is bigger than my closet at my house, like <laughs> it's crazy. So before I take you into the crazy looking kitchen, guys, I'm gonna take you back this way. So here's a door. This is actually to the elevator. So there's an elevator in this mansion right there. That's crazy, you can't really open it though. It's locked. What kind of room is this? This looks like maybe an office because there's a desk here, kind of like a built-in desk. So they left a vacuum <laughs> and a lot of this stuff is built in. So there's like built in cabinets right here. Actually has the breaker boxes inside of there. So this is your secondary front door right here. How cool is that? Same style as the front door. This says danger, do not touch a red switch. Looks like some graffiti or something. I believe this goes down to the garage, but first we have a bathroom right here, nice bathroom too. It's like somebody's kind of spit in here. This is just a half bath as well, guys. You can see there's some uh, some of the plumbing and stuff through there. They left 
a soap dispenser and some toilet paper. But did they leave anything in the drawers? I don't see anything. Not a bad little half bathroom in this place. I want to give you guys a little sneak peek. Look at that dome. Do you see that? That's insane. Just wait till we get upstairs. Can't wait to show you guys that. So let's see the garage. I don't know how many cars this garage actually fits. We actually have a room right here. And it's like, I think this is the washroom. I believe this is the washroom, guys. Maybe, maybe not. Definitely where you would hang some clothes or something. I don't see where you'd put a washing machine. Right, so maybe it's not a washroom, I'm not 100% sure. We have the garage right here. This is a massive garage. Guys, this garage is huge. Okay, so let's try to get a count of how many cars you can fit in this place. So here's a one car. You can also come in from this side. This is a two car right here. So you can fit two cars right here. Then you have another two car. So you could fit probably, you could probably fit three cars right here. You could probably fit three cars right there and another car right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So like an, like an eight or nine car garage. It's pretty big. One of the cool features in this garage is this little glass block right here. How cool is that? For 2005, that's so 90s, but I love this. This is like, this is like one of my favorite things I ever see in abandoned places is the glass blocks. This place just keeps on giving. One massive garage. I've never seen a garage. Well, I actually have seen garages this big and even bigger, but it's just been quite a while since I have. Let's go back up. Okay, it's time for me to show you guys the kitchen. This kitchen is huge, and I cannot wait to take you in here. Wow. So, first off, there's another little pantry area, and then there's the kitchen. So, let's go check it out. All right, so this is your other little, this is actually a little secondary kitchen right here because you have another oven right there. This oven doesn't look too good a shape. It's a whirlpool, but it's got the hood above it, all the cabinets, really nice cabinets too at that. Check it out, how beautiful is this? And then the massive fridge, which you guys know we have to open. It's a whirlpool, so there's two sides. This is the frozen side and the regular side. They both stink, they both are not smell good. Check out the flooring in here too. I don't know if there's anything. We're gonna check a little bit, because you never know, you could find something that they left in here. Pretty amazing though. All right, now it's time to enter into the kitchen. Check it out, oh my gosh. start off um where to start off we have two islands and i'm not talking just like two little islands these are two giant islands in this kitchen massive this is like they're both massive one has a sink one doesn't so you could definitely use this for parties and a lot of family coming over and things like that to have all the food cater it whatever cook it whatever you, you want to do. Check out the ceiling above, this curved arch ceiling with the stone up there. Probably with chandeliers hanging in here too on both sides, probably matching ones. Even a little mini fridge right here, probably for your, your alcohol, your wine and whatnot. Probably kept, kept some wine up there too, no slots. We have a Wolf oven here and Wolf, if you guys don't know, Wolf is a very, very expensive top of the line appliance. I know stoves go for 20,000, like starting out. So the ovens could be upwards of like 10,000 or more. It's just insane because it does the same stuff as like a Whirlpool or whatever. <laughs> like you just cook the food. But if you want to have the high end, then you can get the high end. And then this is your other fridge. It's one of those fridges that kind of like blends in with everything. 
they got the sink in here in this one. It's a two-sided sink. Just incredible, guys. Just absolutely incredible. The flooring in here is very beautiful. And here's that wolf stove I was talking about. In such great shape. And it's just going to get demolished. So, guys, you're looking at a $20,000 plus stove right here that's going to be completely destroyed for no reason. It doesn't make any sense. Beautiful stone hood above it. This like granite backsplash that matches actually the countertops here and on the islands. This looks like trash compactor. So you press that in and you want to open it. You just press down on that and it opens up. This is so cool, guys. This massive kitchen. This is definitely the biggest kitchen I've ever seen in a house. And then they probably had some sort of dining table right here, maybe for breakfast. But check it out. This is actually a dome. So. Wow, guys, it just feels so crazy. And this right here is actually a jacuzzi tub. It's upstairs in the master bathroom. So you guys gotta stay tuned to see that because it's also part of this dome. And just check out this kitchen. It's freaking huge. And in the kitchen, there's also this little sitting area with a TV that they left behind. Looks like it was falling in and they decided to try to fix it even though they're gonna tear the house down. Doesn't make really much sense. Just get this view right here, this dome. Like that's unheard of. I've never seen anything like this. So crazy. But I believe right here is actually your, your main living room. It looks like they probably had a TV hanging right there. And this is where they probably had their, their nice furniture and whatnot, where they would actually chill and have family time and, and stuff like that. Massive fireplace here. The gorgeous details. Stone too, and then again, more coffered ceilings. And a lot of the color theme is the same throughout the whole place. Like this kind of yellowish beige color and the hardwood floors. It's not too tacky, you know? It's not really a tacky house. Get another good view of the backyard there. Guest house and all that. French doors coming through here. It's time for me to show you one of the coolest parts of this house, the indoor pool, okay? Now this isn't just your average indoor pool. This pool is huge. It's also not painted like blue to where it would be blue water. It's a gray, dark color. So swimming in here is more like, uh, it feels like a more masculine like feel to it. But right above is um, like a painted mural of like clouds and stuff. So let's go check it out. I'm about to walk in there and it looks amazing. All right, first walking in. <laughs> this nuts. Talk about luxurious. That's a huge pool too. This goes to at least 10 feet. And you have a hot tub all the way over there. And see, the mural on the ceiling is actually painted light blue with clouds. So you get that feeling of being outside, especially with all this natural light that comes in. And then you get to see your pool here, but it's gray. Like, this is the first time I've ever seen a gray pool in an abandoned mansion, or an mansion in general. It feels like a more masculine type pool, so if the water was in here, it'd be more like blackish or grayish. This little stand right here, not sure what they use this for. Has some, some nice details on it though. And look at this. So, this is your hot tub. Pretty deep hot tub too, and it would have had a waterfall right there. And I wonder if anything would be going into the pool. Cause there's like this, like, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a gap going all the way around. So I don't know what that's actually for. Let's walk down into this pool. So this definitely goes to about 10 feet. Look at that. And that's what you'd see when you're in here swimming around. Had some big lights in here, it looks like. And I see right here, it looks like there's still a little toy that 
It's maybe one of those toys that you throw and it like sinks and you have to like swim down to get it. it looks like a little jellyfish. You gotta take big old steps to get in here. This is a deep hot tub, guys. <laughs> like, this is really deep. I'm up to my waist standing up right here. And I'm six foot seven. But check out this whole view of this room right here. It's so insane. Like imagine this waterfall going right there. Probably the lights, probably had different colored lights in here. Mind blowing the things people come up with when they build their house. If only you guys could see what's inside the house next door, Drake's house, but obviously it's not abandoned. Blown away by this pool. And not to mention all throughout here, there's little tiles of sharks, seahorses right there and dolphins right over here when you first walked in. Yes, guys, that is the indoor pool and I am just blown away. This is probably my favorite room in the whole house so far. Comment down below what your favorite part of the house is. Right now for me, like I said, it's this pool. We have a lot more to see though. We haven't even gone upstairs yet or downstairs. We're still in this part of the house. So <laughs> let's go check out what else we got left. All right, I didn't see what was down on this side. Looks like a big room. Um, not sure what it was used for, but it goes straight over to the to the pool. Maybe this was some sort of like game room or something. Oh, guys, I see a sauna. Look at that. Check it out. Look. Here's your whole sauna here. We got the stones still in here. You cedar everywhere. So yeah, your your sauna still left in here. That's cool. Even has like this cool like fire etching on the uh, on the door, and then a bathroom. So this is probably the bathroom you get washed up in whenever you're uh, after you get out of the pool and stuff. Because there's a shower right here. So this is definitely probably where you got washed up and everything after you spent time in the pool. This looks like a closet, probably where you hang your towels and whatnot. So I'm assuming that this room was just kind of integrated into the pool, which I've seen other mansions that have rooms like this. And what they typically have is like a ping pong table or a pool table, something in here, like a game room type thing to do like, cause it's like the fun area of the house pretty much. It is now time that we go upstairs and we see what's left up there. There's a library, there's like a bunch of bedrooms, the master bedroom and that crazy master bathroom. Cannot wait to show you guys. So let's go up there, let's check it out. Gonna go up this beautiful staircase now. Kinda gave you guys a little look at how big this house is. 20,000 square feet, I mean, that's massive. That is almost 20 times bigger than my house. <laughs> Kind of a view of the staircase from up here. Now here's where the dome is. So this is what we're gonna see. It's actually a library. Looks like three bookshelves here. One right there, one right there, and one right here. And then you can kind of see down below into the main foyer. This is all balconies right here. It's one big balcony, but there's a lot of doors to go to it. And this is kind of the view you get of your little library in this abandoned mega mansion here. Had to have been a chandelier hanging here. Probably a very beautiful one at that. I wonder if it hang, how low it hung, if it went all the way down, or if it just kind of was up here. Either way, nice little library. Never seen one like this, where it's not really in a room. It's more like just up here freely. Still really amazing. Don't see a lot of libraries anymore. It's really cool. Also, just that ceiling alone, I mean, that dome, gorgeous. It looks like a, the same dome that I saw in a, an abandoned synagogue one time. We're gonna actually check out this side of the house first, get a good look at everything. So they probably had some sort of like couches here. There's a TV sitting right here. Could have held more books, 
could have been more part of the library on this side as well. Got a lot of drawers and whatnot. Old TV, old Sony TV, and that's like in all these rooms too. I wonder how long it would take me to get from this side of the house all the way to that side of the house. So let's just test it out real quick. One, two. We're already at 10 seconds. It took 20 seconds to get from that side of the house to the other at a normal walking pace. So <laughs> that tells you it's too big, but check it out. This is a washroom right here. So they would have actually done their washing and drying and stuff in here. But yeah, a lot of shelving for their, for their stuff to hang up. Granite countertops in here. For a washroom, it's giant, it's big. <laughs> it's a really big room. But I wanna take you guys back down on that side before we check out the rest of this side. All along in here, they didn't even take out these lights. They took them all out downstairs, but they didn't take them out down here or up here. Let's go down all the way and check out those bedrooms first. At the end of the hallway, there's like a little closet space here, but then we have a bedroom and it's quite nice sized. So this bedroom actually has its own living space. Okay, so it, this is actually not the master bedroom, but it has its own living space. This is, this would be it right here. You put a couch here, multiple things in here for seating and your TV there if you wanted to watch TV. And this would be your living space in your bedroom, which is quite bizarre to say. I can't even believe I'm saying that. That's crazy. Tray ceiling in here, really cool. Very nice stone fireplace. You see these same stone fireplaces all throughout the house. And then this would be where your bed was. Another tray ceiling here. They did leave the TV on this side. Again, it's one of those older Sony TVs. And then check out this bathroom right here. Look at this tub. Like that tub is crazy. That's so cool. And then the ceiling above it, I bet you there's a chandelier hanging in this bathroom. That is Drake's house right there, guys. And his house is actually, I believe, the largest house over here. It's over 50,000 square feet. This isn't even the master bathroom or master bedroom, and it's already got a crazy bathroom that goes with it. So, I mean, can you imagine what we're gonna see in the master? But this is one of the primary suites of the house, as you can tell. And then the closet itself. So, pretty large closet. Hang on your suits whatnot all through here. Shoes, bags, jewelry, watches. You know, I'm sure these guys had it all. Gonna walk down the super long hallway again and go to our next bedroom right here. So if we check this one out, has tray ceilings again. Sony TV has the arch doorways. If you go into the bathroom and the closet. No um, balcony, but you could open the doors and you know, get that view, which is really just a neighborhood. Have the built-in shelves right here, really nice. It's just sad to see like stuff like this that's such good bones and like nothing wrong with it at all. It's just gonna be wasted away. Nobody will ever get to use this again because it's just gonna be torn down with the house. The bathroom in this one looks pretty insane. So we have a big shower here with the rainfall, the rainfall head right in there. It doesn't have any other head, so like it's just rainfall. I don't know how many people like to shower just like that. That's fancy nonetheless. Nice flooring in here with this like stone flooring. The sink is very kind of funky looking. It's got this like wavy design to it and just beautiful architecture throughout the whole place, guys. And then this one obviously has another big closet. It's not as big as the other one, but it's still quite large nonetheless. Again, the same kind of wood. All right, we're entering in our next bedroom here. Same kind of deal as the last. It's actually set up exactly the same as the other one that we were just in. It's more of a yellow color in here. And this is more like a darker wood, more like an ebony color. Again, going to complete waste. Hate to see stuff like this go to waste. Like beautiful cabinetry. And then like just beautiful overall house that's going to waste. So it's like, I don't understand why people, you know, people have so much money. They can just have this, pay all this money for this, tear it down, build something even bigger. It's just, it's, it blows my mind. But we're going to enter into the bathroom here. And I'm assuming it's kind of similar of the same setup. 
as the other one. Yeah, it is, same rainfall shower. Looks like maybe an older person was using this one because there's that like helper thing or maybe a disabled person, I'm not too sure. Um, the flooring in here is actually really, really nice. It's like this yellowish um, granite and then there's like um, mosaic tiles going through on the edges. This is really cool to see. Everything is so clean in here too, guys. Like it's so clean, but there's no water, there's no power and it's gonna face demolition very, very soon with all this stuff in it. So it just is sad to see. Getting through these bedrooms kind of quickly, these like little ones like this, same closet is in there. And then we come back to this side and we have like a cedar closet. There's an elevator right here. That obviously doesn't work. Can't open the door either. So it might be in the basement. So we might have to see what it looks like when we get down there. We have another bedroom right here. And it's gonna be the same type of deal as the others that have been up here so far. Tray ceiling, beautiful wood floors, same kind of color scheme going throughout. Tall doors, tall ceilings, big closet, 2005 Samsung TV. And then of course, we have a beautiful bathroom, just with a toilet and a shower. The shower is not as like big as the other ones, still has the rainfall head in it. Which is still cool. Towel rack. Nice marble floors in here. And I love this mirror. I actually have a mirror similar to this in my house. It's a lot bigger than the one in my house. And uh, more like intricate, I guess. But I love mirrors like this. Now guys, don't get me wrong. I do love older houses too. But when I see these big, massive, like mega mansions that aren't that old, especially ones like this, 19 years old, that are just being wasted, it, 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 it intrigues me more of like, why? You know, it gives me that question of like, why? I can see an older house that's kind of dilapidated and like they have to leave because it's just hard to maintain. But like a house like this, like where nothing's wrong with it at all, I don't know why. And it intrigues me a little bit more, I guess you could say. So now we're gonna head over here to the other side where we're gonna be entering into the master bedroom. So here's your master bedroom right here. It's quite large, I have to say. You could fit your Alaskan king size bed here <laughs> or just your California king, whatever. It's probably what they had. You got the lights that are built into the walls for your nightstands that go right there. Um, along with like some buttons that are for your room scene, your wall uh, sconces, chandelier, Hot lights, cove lights, lamps, reading lights, good night. There was a chandelier in the bedroom, which I mean, is typical when you see giant mansions like this, they typically have chandeliers everywhere because it's just fancy, you know? Probably had a TV right here. Probably had stuff in the corners, maybe statues, maybe furniture. But this is definitely a type of room where you have the bed and you have furniture all in here and other stuff like that. Probably had a dresser over there. Then they have their own balcony, which you can get a view. And there's other mansions in this neighborhood too, which we're in like a pretty pretty wealthy neighborhood, obviously. You got the nice tray ceiling in here, recessed lighting and all that. Same kind of colorway, a little like gaucho brown. That's what my grandparents used to call it, gaucho. <laughs> Very nice wood flooring with a dark lining going all the way across. And the fireplace is just gorgeous. Love to see fireplaces like this. It's not as like grand as I would have think, as like I would have thought it would have been for the master. But you got the French doors, you know, I'm sure everything else in here makes up for it. So I'm just gonna take you straight away. Check this out. Wow. <laughs> That is insane, guys. This is the master bathroom. This is the tub 
the jacuzzi tub that you could easily fit five or six people in with the dome lights. So much money. And the floors in here are like super nice. This is one of the coolest rooms. This is definitely one of the coolest rooms. I mean, just get a look at this. I mean, that's your view of like your shower when you're in here with your tub, your flooring. You have a vanity on this side, a vanity on that side. So it's like a his and hers type thing going on in here. Not to mention your toilet, your bidet, pretty big room for that. And then we can see right down in there, that's actually where the garage is. Cause we saw that glass, those glass blocks there. I mean, this place is massive guys, but this room is so cool. This alone is insane. Like, I can't believe this is the first time I'm seeing a master bathtub that looks like this. That is just so bizarre. Giant shower here. I would feel like this would be in, this would have been a his and hers type thing. Which actually it might be, because it looks like those are actually spray from the sides and from the front as long along with the rainfall. So I guess if they wanted to shower together, they could. Like comfortably, you know what I mean? <laughs> Insane guys. Absolutely crazy. This house. I cannot believe this is like looking like this. Arched door when you come in here too. And then we have to see the master closet and it's a his and hers so there's two closets here there's this side which is smaller so i'm assuming this is probably his side and i think this is her side because it is actually much larger this closet is bigger than my bedroom at my house my my master bedroom so she could fit all of her jewelry and whatnot in these drawers you have the island in your closet Chandelier still here. All this like space. So this is actually opens up like this. Probably held coats, dresses in there. This is like the vanity, probably where she did makeup. Giant closet, guys. Just a massive closet. Have you guys ever seen a closet this giant? <laughs> like this is a bedroom. Like this is the size of a master bedroom in a normal house just the closet. All right, and it looks like that's it for the upstairs. Now we go down to the basement to see what's left down there. There's a theater and there's plenty of other stuff to see down there. This house is huge. Okay guys, so hope you're enjoying this so far. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this house is and let's go down to the basement and let's check out what's down there. All right, we have actually one more bedroom on this side of the house that I completely missed because it was kind of just hidden over here in the corner, but this one, is quite a large room. I mean, in any typical house, this is gonna be a master size bedroom, but in this is just a guest room. But it is one of the primary suites of the house, I will say that, because we have a giant closet back there as well as a big bathroom. But you can see the archways, the tray ceiling, this like little thing that's kind of indented right there where they would have the TV and all that stuff. Very cool room. Doors that open up, that go out to your backyard here. So let's go back back here. So through this, there's a toilet and a bidet. And we'll see this bathroom right here, which has a really nice look to it. You can see this granite countertop here for the sink. And then this giant jetted tub right here. So cool to see these. I saw one just like this in another, in another mansion here in Canada which is really cool. So it's kind of like the same deal. It's not as big as the, the master, obviously. Check out this closet right here. This closet is giant, really similar to the other ones, to the master. This one has a big island in it. Well, it's a, kind of not really an island, but it's attached to the wall. You have a place right to here to sit, to put your shoes on, glass cases for, for multiple things. Um, lots of drawers, lots of space. You can hang up all your clothes in here, put all your handbags and whatnot right here. This bag, I can't tell. I was thinking it was probably from some designer, but I can't tell. I just had to show you guys this room real quick. So now it's actually time that we go downstairs to see what's in the basement, so let's go. 
Yo, this basement's huge. Oh, yeah. Is this like a ballroom? <laughs> Wait, so this was a ballroom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Makes sense. And you have your bar here. And like, as you can see, the bar is made of gator skin. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. No way, dude. Yeah. It literally is. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Oh, man. So this is the expensive. Very expensive. So it has its own bar, and this is the biggest bar I've seen in an abandoned house. This is like an actual like bar like bar. A legitimate bar, yeah. Or you could have three bartenders back here. Like it's that big. Yeah. So the ceiling, it's like a tray ceiling, and then it goes to a coffered ceiling. It's kind of strange how they set this up. So what else we got down here? Nice wood flooring throughout. This looks like a, this is a wine room or? Yeah, wine cellar. Wine cellar room. See how they're all like labeled? Oh yeah. And it's also got the gator skin right there. Ontario, Australia, California, uh, Argentina. So they had got stuff from all different countries. Yeah. Wow. Ice wine, South Africa, Italy, France. Probably temperature controlled too. Gotta keep your wines at, a, at, the, at the right temp. Yo, is this their brand? I think that's their brand. Yeah. Yeah, that's their own brand. I, I'm pretty sure that's their own brand. Yeah. So, like, like you guys know, in the beginning of the video, these guys made, uh, the, they manufactured their own logs for fires and stuff. Obviously, a smart idea up here in Canada where it's cold <laughs> all the time. So this is like your HVAC, all that, your breaker box, and stuff like that. Pretty large. But you need all this for a house that's big. And this is the, th this is the theater, yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Jeez. It sucks they removed the, uh, the chairs and the screen. But I mean, you can obviously tell this was the theater room. <laughs> That's nuts. You know, I don't care what size house I get one day, I'm gonna have a theater in my, <laughs> yeah. in my house. This is crazy. The carpet in here is like a blue and gold. And then the screen would have been right here. And what they do is they put the speakers behind the screens. So you get that really good feel, the movies. And they had surround sound, obviously. Projector would have been here. Right here. Yeah, projector would have been hanging up over there. They had the ceilings black in here. So when you turn off the lights, it'd be really dark. And you really get the highest quality picture on the movie. Too bad they took the screen down. Such an entertainment area. And then we got a whole nother section down here. Nanny's quarters? Yeah. Bathroom, granite countertops in here. One toilet. It's a lot of bathrooms. <laughs> but uh, typically in mansions, they have more bathrooms than they do bedrooms, I've noticed. So they probably have their security system down here. This is their water heaters and stuff. All their, electri all their electrical down here. This is such a big room. Oh, it keeps going. I'm assuming this is a storage. It's probably where they stored a bunch of stuff. Could have had their logs in here. This is like a man's washroom. We have one bathroom. Yeah, this, yeah, this is definitely the maid's quarters because there's a kitchen in here. This is probably the maid's bedroom. Yeah, so this is the maid's bedroom of the house. So they would have had one person staying down here. You have to have somebody like clean mansions all the time. Cause like you're too busy to be doing it yourself cause you gotta work to afford one of these dang things. Still hooked her up with a nice fridge. And these doors go to just a closet space. And then I think this is just another room for the pool, all the your pool workings. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's for the pool. Do How many? Heated floors? Yeah, yeah, it has wow. heated floors. That's crazy. Wow. It makes sense. And they're just demolishing this. That's crazy. Yo, what up, man? What up? Man? What up? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little while. <laughs> and that is the end of today's exploration, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments your favorite part, and until next time, 
Big Banks out.